Hi guys, um, back on another Wilderness Twins. I'm, I'm Gordon. Uh, what I'm doing today is I'm trying to do some of my projects that I've been putting off and putting off because I've been doing out trying, trying hunting. Um, uh, didn't get anything this year. Well, no deer, got a rabbit and whatnot, but uh, no deer uh, so far. Got one more day and I can go, go out. Anyway, so what I'm trying to do um, just now is I'm preparing to, to, to go away uh, in, in January with, with Edward. We're going to do uh, two nights out in the woods. Um, just just to get out try some new kit that we've got for Christmas and whatnot. Um, this is 27th of December, by the way. Uh, you wouldn't guess it by the... It's not that that cold. Um, I don't, it's not even down to freezing yet. Um, I've only got this on because it's, it started drizzling the rain. Um, what I'm, you can see there's burning away here at the back. What I'm doing is I'm going to try a, try a tent heater out. Um, basically it's a, an old barrel. Uh, basically it's like a rocket stove. Um, I'll bring you in closer just now. But I'm trying trying wood pellet um, and seeing if that's going to uh, try this. So this is just a uh, just an experiment to see if it actually works. And then I'll design something a bit better um, and get some proper steel tubing and that kind of stuff. I've just got galvanised steel tube because you know people might go, oh don't use galvanised. It's burned all off. The, the fumes are I'm outside, all that sort of stuff. Um, but what I'm going to be doing is putting putting the, the lid on here because I want to then try and it's going to hopefully come up through here, and, which I'll bring you a closer in a sec. But all this, the smokes have come up, and hopefully once the lid's on, it goes down and out, out through the exhaust that I've got here. Uh, and I've actually got more exhaust downstairs, so when I do put it in a tent, I'll have about six feet of exhaust going outside. Um, so let me just pull you in. And I'll show you exactly what I've, what I've got going here. Uh, okay. Right, so basically I've got my, my wood pellets in, in here. So I've got the air chamber at the back of it, the wood pellets at the front. Um, and these will gradually, hopefully, burn down. I've got a, a mesh thing at the, the back here so uh, when the ash when it burns down it goes to the ash that's one thing I have to redesign is uh, design this so I can have a uh, an ash tray that I can pull out empty and push it back in um, but as I say I wanted to just, just see if how well these wood pellets would actually burn in this situation so as normal um, I've got the, so the, sort of the elbow galvanized elbow here uh, I've got all tin can just as an, extent, ex, an extension piece. So it comes in, so this is four inch down and in here, back in a U bend, and then back up to a, uh, opens up into a six inch chamber. So as you see, the wood pellets are, are um, going at, at the front. Gradually, as they burn down, they'll burn down, turn into ash, and then the next bunch draws down. So you really only need to to um, do this every so often is, is fill that up um, probably every couple of hours hopefully if all goes well so you see how it's, it's drawing um, from underneath drawn and up like a, a normal fire normal firewood um, that was just my, my my bag just falling over and spilling things all over um, so as you see it is it's smoking just now um, but what, so what I'll do, I'm going to put the lid on it and I want to see how, hopefully, this is all insulation. Um, this is from the, the, the foundry that I work in, this is all, just old stuff. Um, wrapped it around, tied it with, uh, with wire and whatnot, just to, to insulate this. So this, this is cut off lower than the, the, the height of here. So hopefully the smoke comes down, down to the stair, and then you can see the exhaust down at, at the bottom there, hopefully. Barely, maybe. But anyway, so the exhaust then comes down, out, and then down. I've got right, a, a so pipe at the end. Get the, the lid on. Um, I've got the seal already. It's already on. I've done this before. I, I used it, but it didn't work as well as I, I thought it was going to be. I went from a four inch tube to a four inch tube, and the exhaust was a four inch tube, so it didn't draw properly. But this seems to be. 
drawn quite a bit more than it was before. Um, so I'll get this lid on. So I'll just bring you in. Yeah, if I bring you in, I might just want to show you that this does seem to be working. There is some, some smoke coming out of there, but you can you can see it barely. So, so it seems to be working well. Um, I'll soon find out from the heat of it. So, but my next. Um, test is to basically see how hot this is going to be. Um, I don't have a thermometer uh, to actually test it, but you can see this, this sort of smoke, the steam coming off the top of it. Um, it, it was, I'm just hoping that this is, hasn't dampened it down. Um, but we'll give it a try and see see what how it see how it goes. Um, and if anybody can come up with a well, there are lots of better solutions out there, but this is just a, obviously a homemade knock together from a few pipes and the, the theory behind it is there, but whether or not I need to drill more holes to allow more draw in certain areas. I definitely need an ash pan, because uh, that that'll soon block off and then that'll block my my air going in anyway. Um, so that, that'll be definitely a di downfall. Um, but that's the start of it. As you can see, there's some get air, uh, some smoke coming through the back of it. So, um, but it's definitely, definitely working. When you see this, see the smoke coming off, off over here, which I just turned round just purely just to be able to see the the, the smoke round. But I, that would actually be pointing down the way, so no rain can can go uh, come in here. Um, but I've got a lot. I've got longer pipe. I've got another piece of three uh, three feet. So. If this is in the tent, this is all going to be outside of the, of the tent. If there's any, if there's any smoke, then it'll be in there. Uh, my only thing is, I hope that this doesn't then back blow the, the smoke back into the, into the tent. Um, but we've all sat around fires just outside our um, uh, the tarps before, so I'm hoping that this is going to get hot, just hot enough. It's not there to cook on and all sorts. This is just purely if I'm going to go camping. Um, maybe we've got two feet of snow and it's minus 20 and all that sort of stuff, and it's really, really cold. So I'm going to be put this in, on a sled and drag it into the woods and with my rest of my stuff, and then this will keep the, the tent going um, nice and warm all night, hopefully. Um, but I can also use this just to put branches and twigs in rather than the, the pellets. Um, I can just grab bran get branches, which I have used it like that, and it did work. This is the first time I've used the, the pellets, and I wasn't sure if it was going to choke off or not. Um, but the branches do work absolutely excellent. So um, the good thing about the pellets is I can just put that in, and then just, you could just go to sleep. Let that do it. So the, the, it is drawn. You can see the smoke coming off of there. Um, I'm not sure what time kind of temperature that that is but it will be warmer than just looking without a fire that's for sure so well guys as you can see I've tried um, at least it's it's hot enough to, to cook on like, so we've got scrambled eggs for lunch with um, some ham but left over for Christmas Imagine it's probably going to be hot enough to 
to the boil water as well. So, um, I'm not too sure about the the thing is, the wood pellets on, on this particular thing. I think I would prefer to put wood in there like a normal um, rocket stove. But it does work. Smoke's coming out the out the back there. I mean, this is all overdone now. So yeah, I mean it's it's, it's well warm for good enough for, for for cooking on. So well pleased. So at least this experiment worked. It'll be hot enough for a tent. Um, I could put a longer stack on it to, to allow you to uh, to draw in, but definitely need to do something. If I'm going to use wood pellets, definitely need to do the um, have this a bit longer so I can have more in it. But definitely have to have an ashtray because I think it's I keep on having to rattle it. To, so I don't know if it's getting blocked off. But anyway, guys, I'm going to go and have my uh, scrambled egg for for lunch now. Okay, take care.